An ongoing crisis in the Sunshine State. In a little more than a week, Florida's legislature will have a special session to deal with the state's property insurance crisis. On News 6 at 5 and 7, you heard from Lewis Bolton about a new hurdle homeowners are facing. Well, now people are airing their grievances to Florida lawmakers heading to that special session. News 6's Troy Campbell was at the town hall in Brevard County tonight. Elected officials here in Brevard County said the goal of the town hall meeting was to bring together homeowners to discuss possible solutions to ongoing homeowner insurance issues. One by one, residents spoke to the panel, many saying they may lose their home if their insurance rates aren't lowered. The insurance companies are just running wild. Florida State Representatives Randy Fine and Florida Senate Majority Leader Debbie Mayfield joining local leaders in Melbourne, listening to homeowners detail issues they're facing from insurance rates increasing to nearly $40,000 a year to being forced to replace roofs years before any replacements needed to be made. I don't know what we're going to do. I wanted to see if there were any um, resources out there that could help us financially pay for our insurance. Um, you know, barring putting a GoFundMe page up. <laughs> Elderly and disabled residents told the panel how fixed incomes and other vulnerabilities put them more at risk of losing their homes, unable to come up with the money to keep their insurance policies. The legislators in attendance say widespread insurance fraud throughout Florida has significantly increased expenses paid out by insurance companies, who in return say premiums have to be increased to cover those costs. Compel companies to list the names of clients for whom they have denied claims, then the homeowners that have been denied can find each other and do a class action lawsuit. Brevard Representative Randy Fine says a combination of fraudulent claims and attorneys collecting a record amount in fees will both be discussed by the legislature during the special session. There are attorneys who are out there helping for people who aren't getting paid, and then there are absolutely attorneys who take advantage of the situation with frivolous claims. In the meantime, they say anyone who feels they're being treated unfairly or suspects fraud with their claim to contact their state representative to investigate. In Melbourne, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.